We've just heard from people watching from Somalia, Bangladesh and Norway. So thanks for checking in with us. I should imagine that Somalia and Bangladesh are very affected by climate change. We hear talk of it all the time, but what does it actually mean for you and me? It normally happens very slowly. It's difficult to comprehend as it's not always visible to us. Scientists have now made a direct link between the melting Arctic ice caps and the extreme weather events affecting millions of people right now in Europe and North America. The rising temperatures that are warming the ice sheets at the top of the globe are changing the way the Gulf Airstream flows and that's affecting weather patterns. Sound like a rocket scientist? Well, who'd better to explain it than a real scientist? So earlier I spoke to the man who knows all about the weather fronts and that's Richard Angle. Richard, Arctic temperatures incredibly important and the impact that it has on ice sea levels. What does it mean? Long way away, very remote, Jane, you tend not to think too much about the Arctic. Mm. But it is important, it is crucial. The Arctic sea ice has been decreasing and decreasing for many years, but that process is speeding up, partly because we live in a warmer world, of course. Mm. 2014, the warmest since 1880. 2015, warmer still. 2016, warmer still. And once you start to shrink the ice, you're no longer reflecting heat back out into space. The water absorbs the heat and that whole melting process tends to go faster and faster, and that's what we're seeing at the moment. November sea ice actually decreasing. It's only the second time that's ever been reported. So it doesn't bode well for 2017, does it? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. And I'm wondering about jet streams. What sort of impact that has on this big picture? Well, that's the real impact, if you like, because the jet stream underneath it is where all the weather systems develop. And this is what you've normally got this big setup, this big loop. And normally it's a fairly steady, fairly strong loop because that yeah. jet stream is blowing at, what, 300 kilometres an hour, at about eight kilometres up in the atmosphere. But once it starts to weaken, you get big loops starting to develop in it. What that means is, is you get warm air pushing towards the north, you get cold air pushing towards the south. So this regular feature tends to get disrupted, and that then has consequences. And you and me, how how's it going to affect us and everybody else on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, you can look at single events like um, Storm Sandy, mm. that hit New York and New Jersey, that may well have been a result of high pressure over Greenland, so it sort of steered that system in. At the moment, the weather we've got over parts of Manitoba, incredible lows, and also Chicago. We've had near record temperatures there as that cold air has plunged all the way towards the south. Over parts of Europe, Eastern Europe at the moment, really, really cold air. It's been there for quite some time. So it's certainly having impacts really all around the globe. Thank you, Richard.